and Murph. Sports with Brianna Mellon. Tonight, I'm joined with both Amarillo High's head basketball coaches. We have Coach Jason Peon here of Pillion, excuse me, of the Amarillo High Sandys, and then of the girls team, we have Jeff Williams. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Thanks for having me. Glad yes, to be well, here. You, both of your teams are in the playoffs. Of course, no stranger to competing in postseason play, but what may come as a shock to some is neither team has won a state title in almost over 20 years. I know you guys came extremely close in the 2013-2014 season falling in that championship game. Can you kind of just talk on where the program's at as of now, being number one in the state, and just what it would mean to bring home that title this season? Well, any time that you can uh, make a run for a title, it is something special, and, and feel like you have a team that has the opportunity to do those type of things. We've got a, a group of young ladies who are working hard every day, and we've had a lot of success this year. We've got a lot of work to do yet, uh, and so we're, we're working hard every day to get it done. And you guys also went unbeaten in district. Just what would that mean to bring home that title as well with, you know, the six seniors you have? I, it meant a lot. You know, that group a few years ago kind of gave us a road map on the, on the way to do things. And so, uh, you know, it meant a lot. These seniors, they were freshmen. They got to kind of come in on that journey to exit uh, in the same journey, I think, would mean a lot to them. And I know we preach and constantly talk all season long just how competitive District, you know, 3, 5A is and how those games prepare you for the playoffs. I think that's kind of becoming evident now just by how much you guys are outscoring your opponents and these other, you know, area teams. Can you kind of touch on that a little bit? Well, our, our district did prepare us. I mean, from uh, 1 to 8, all good basketball teams, and you're going to see good coaching all the way across the board. And so I feel like just the, the opportunity to compete night in and night out Tuesday, Friday against that kind of a district really did prepare us. Uh, it was a grind. It was a lot of district ball games, more than what we're accustomed to when we were in 6A. And so it was it was a challenge. Uh, we're very proud of our kids for keeping that that uh, mindset, you know, to, to really think about each upcoming game and stay focused on that game. And, and uh, it, it did prepare us. And we've we played a lot better teams in our district so far than what we've seen in the playoffs, honestly. And this round coming up for you guys as you head now to the regional tournament has been kind of a thorn in your side the past two seasons. You've fallen. How do you get over that hump, hopefully, this season? Well, it's just, you know, just continue to get back there. We talk about do simple better, and that's kind of our theme this year. And we, we just want to do the little things a little bit better and uh, hopefully be able to get to a point we've lost in the semifinal game. Well, this is our fourth year out of six to be at the regional tournament, and we've had an opportunity to try to just uh, do things a little bit better and hopefully get over the hump this year. And you guys just had a big win over Cooper last night. It was a 30-point win. And now you're headed to the area championships, going to be taking on a team in Odessa. Can you kind of just preview that matchup for us a little bit? That would be kind of contrasting styles. El Paso Bowie. Uh, <clears throat> not very big, but they play very up-tempo. They want to press a lot, uh, kind of create some chaos on, on both ends of the court once you just sh shoot the ball quickly. Um, and then they want to get quick shots themselves. And so we want to we'll have a little bit of a size advantage. We'll want to make sure that we uh, uh, control tempo, uh, take the shots we want to take, uh, make them grind, make them work on, on, their, on their end also. And so it'll be kind of a battle of two different styles and see who wins out. And, I mean, just with both of your success this season, as I mentioned, unbeaten in district play, you only have one blemish on your record, that lone game to Canaan. <clears throat> How do you keep just a healthy balance, have your players stay confident, but also, you know, not get, you know, too cocky in their head, too? Well, I, I, with our kids, I mean, I think they've, they've been a very mature group. We've got great leadership, and our kids have really done a nice job of just taking the next game and trying to focus on that and, and have an opportunity to win that. We talk about the talent that we have. If you're going to win games, a lot of games in a row, you have to be a mature type of team with a mature mindset, and, and they've done that. And I've had teams that could win five or six in a row, and then they start feeling a little overconfident, and they drop one. Uh, this team's found a way to put together a couple of long winning streaks. Uh, a lot of maturity, a lot of great leadership. And we touched a little bit on those seniors as well. You have Adam Rivera, heard he signed to Arkansas Fort Smith. How much are you just seeing that, you know, leadership <coughs> veteran experience come into play as you, you know, try to make this deep run in the playoffs? Oh, you're seeing a lot. I mean, our seniors done a great job with that. Adam, Burke Moffitt, uh, Reagan Rennick Hill, and uh, Isaiah Williams have done a wonderful job of, of uh, showing up every day um, with, the, uh, with the mentality to compete. 
Um, they understand uh, the finality of things and, 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 and want to uh, uh, make it go as long as possible. And so I can't say enough about the job that Adam and Burke and all those guys have done for us. I kind of wanted to end, obviously, just kind of on a more of a fun note here, trying to get the coaches a little bit more as well, <laughs> kind of touch on. I know you were very into baseball growing <laughs> up. Kind yes. of maybe talk a little bit about your path coming into your well, job today. I graduated in Ohio in 1987. I played baseball. Uh, I played basketball through my junior year, but I was a baseball guy. It was just all my family have been better at baseball uh, as far as an athlete goes. But uh, once a Sandy, always a Sandy. I'm glad to be back at Emerald High. Uh, and a lot of those guys that I played for and were still around uh, whenever I came to Emerald High when I first started 13 years ago. So pretty cool, pretty cool deal. And I wanted to show you have an awesome photo of you. I don't know if at, many of you knew he played at WT. And we have an old photo here to share, show of you guys. Vintage buffaloes here. I think How that's pretty that? awesome. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's a young coach, Rick Cooper, right there, and uh, uh, a lot of hair I have there. That's obviously pre-coaching, <laughs> a lot less headaches. <laughs> yes. But, uh, no, those were the good old days. That's awesome. Well, we wish you both extreme luck this Friday. Excited to see uh, how far you guys are going to go. You, I know you don't want to go to your game on Saturday about Canyon, but. We here are rooting for that game. We can't wait to see maybe a rematch. We've, we've got a game Friday night. That's all I can think about right, <laughs> right now. Right. So thank you. Well, thank you guys again for, for coming in. Dave, we'll have one last look at your forecast right after the break.